Right. So you guys should have taken it and put it in. Hopefully you got to see it without looking at the video first. But as you put it in, you should see automatically some different things that lead you to believe a chemical reaction is taking place. First off, I'm going to want you to touch it and feel it, and hopefully you feel a temperature change. Make sure and seal your bag so nothing falls out. And not only did you feel it, oh, just like that, and it's got all of my clothes, make sure you seal it. And when you seal it, you should feel a temperature change, and of course you see a color change with it too. Okay, so two indicators lead you to believe a chemical reaction took place. After you want to pause the video, oh, after uh, you see this, you're going to write down some observations in your notebook. Okay, write down what you saw. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this uh, solution that you have here with the sodium bicarbonate and indicator solution, and you're going to mix it with the calcium chloride. So you want to pause the video, go ahead and mix it, and then we'll come back and talk about it in a second. All right, welcome back. We're going to mix the solutions. So we mix them both, and you should see automatically there's another color change. You should feel it, and it actually gets pretty hot. Okay, so now heat is being released. And you should also see as you mix it up that the bag is starting to inflate with a gas. You want to be cautious with this because the bag can inflate to a point where the bag will pop. So as soon as you feel like the bag's going to pop, you want to take this and you want to put it in the sink. Okay, so make sure you put it in the sink, and you can sit there and watch the chemical reaction as it goes. Don't take a pencil and stab it or anything crazy like that. Okay, try not to be a psycho. And just sit here and watch it. You can shake it up a little bit more, but just keep it in the sink so this stuff doesn't pop on your clothes. Okay, it just popped right there. Mine wasn't that huge of a pop, but the bag popped because all the gas inside of it. Okay. Now, what I'd like you to do next is go ahead and make some observations of what you saw for this part of the reaction and some things that you see, uh, think that led you to believe a chemical reaction took place, uh, like color change or gas formation.